This is Carl at National RV Detroit. I'm going to walk you around this uh, 2018 Shasta Oasis. Um, this is not a floor plan video, it's a how-to video. So I'm just going to show you some of the features and how they work, okay? Um, of course you have a power awning with LED strip. Uh, this right here is the filler for the fresh water tank. Now the most common way to get water to the trailer is through the city water hookup which is on the other side but um, if you're camping someplace that does not have plumbing on the campsites like a, some of the state parks for example you can pre-fill this tank and use the onboard pump so that's just in case you don't have city water. Um, you have a hitch. This hitch is a, a husky hold on. A Husky Centerline weight distribution hitch with built-in sway control. We're going to show you how that operates when you pick up the trailer. Um, but it does have built-in sway control. It's a good hitch. Uh, your, your stabilizers are just uh, three-quarter inch hex uh, to operate them. And you, we, you get the crank here. But you also can, um, you also can use a, you know, a three-quarter inch uh, six-point socket on a drill, that sort of thing. Okay, also with that three quarter inch crank, this is your power tongue jack here. Uh, looks like it's brand new. Well, this is your power tongue jack here. Um, if you, if you ever, if it ever fails on you, you can pull this rubber plug out of it and you can actually use that same crank to crank it up and down. So, either way, okay. You have uh, two LP tanks which are full, deep cycle marine battery, brand new, and these are your brackets for your, your hitch system. Okay, now this is just, this, this is just a hookup in case you wanted to purchase a solar battery, uh, uh, or excuse me, a, a solar panel to, to charge the battery. Um, it's like a little kit, you could, you could plug it in right there. So that's, that's up to you. And also, while we're looking in here, you get your, your dump hose right here in that box, and there's a, a, a reducer for, your, for your, um, your power cord, okay? Cable satellite hookup. Okay, so this is the city water hookup. This is the most common way to get water to the trailer. Um, this obviously is an outside sprayer to hose things down. Your water heater is here. It's coming off. Let me, there we go. Um, this is a, uh, let's see, this one looks like it's, uh, the switches operated are inside the trailer. So um, keep in mind, this is where you drain it. You can either turn this petcock or you can unscrew it. It's up to you. That's how you drain it. Never mess with it when the water's hot, you don't want to scald yourself, so keep that in mind. Also, never use this when, there, when, there's, when it has been drained. You always want to make sure you refill it before you, uh, before you turn on the uh, energy, okay? Now, your dump valves are down here. Let's see if I can get a picture of them for you. Right down here. Um, you have a, a gray tank, which is a toilet water and waste. And then you have a, a black tank, which is, wait a minute, a, a gray tank, which is toilet water and waste. And then you have a black tank, which is sink and shower water. Okay. Your power cord. Okay. Now this is just telling us it's pre-wired for a backup camera. Uh, at one time, uh, I don't know if there was one on there or not, but it is pre-wired. Okay, so let's go inside. Trailer's in extremely good shape. Whoever owned it, it didn't have kids, I'll tell you that. Um, okay, so you have some some seating here, obviously. Um, and let's see, it jackknifes flat, so you can turn it into a bed. Okay, you can also drop this table down onto the cleats there and turn this, this into a bed here also. So you have two potential beds and then of course you have your bunks 
So there's a lot of sleeping space in this trailer. Um, okay. Let's start right. Let me look around here. Okay. Let's start right here. This is um, this is your control panel. So your power awning is controlled right here. You can see it goes in and out. You can see that. Never leave it out unattended. If you're not going to be at the campsite, roll it in. You got lights here. Uh, your water pump here. That, remember, you use that to pump water out of the fresh water tank if you don't have city water. You'll also use that to winterize the trailer. Uh, your water heater on gas. So you just light it like that. It's that simple. It's a gas water heater. Um, and then you have your levels here. Your battery's charged. Fresh water has is, is got water in it because we just prepped it. So on and so forth. The, uh, they, light, they graduate up in one-third increments. So before it's full, obviously, you're going to want to dump your, your gray in your black tank. Okay. Um, obviously, your microwave works like any other microwave. This is a range hood fan plus a light. You have a uh, cooktop here. Let me see if it's if the gas is turned on here. It's not, but um, it's that simple. You turn you you light it by turning the sparker clockwise. Let me give it a few more shots. I think I heard some gas. There it goes. Okay, so it is on. Let's see this one. There we go. Last one. Excellent. So you turn it by or spark it by turning this clockwise. Now under here in this compartment, that's um, that's your plumbing there. That's that's where your uh, uh, you can access a a, lot, a large part of your plumbing anyway. There's two screws holding it in. All the screws are hold all the screws in the trailer are number two square headed screws. So you, if you don't have that bit for your dr drill or driver, you need to get one. Okay. So the refrigerator is a gas absorption refrigerator. It'll work on gas or regular electricity. So the normal, well, the most common way to operate it is on auto. Just like that. Auto means electric. The reason they call it auto is because it automatically seeks out electricity when you turn it on. This was the switch right here, by the way. When you turn it on. Then, if it can't find electricity, it'll automatically shift to, to LP gas and light, okay, automatically. Also, if you have a, a power outage at the campsite, it'll, it'll, it'll sense that and it'll light the, the refrigerator on gas so you don't spoil the food. So auto is the most common way to use it. You can put it on gas just like that, but if your auto will always get you, the, get you to gas if you don't have electricity. Okay. The only other thing to remember about this is this, this, you see this wire here that goes into this this little clip, it's, it's not locked in there. I mean, you can pull it right off, it's just a clip. But you basically want that to be up as high as you can. That's why that sticker says cooler, that's pointing up and warmer on the bottom. The higher you go with that, the cooler it is in the refrigerator. That's called a, a thermistor. So, generally speaking, you're going to have it up all the way. I mean, once it starts to cool down outside, you might have to back it off. Uh, but, generally speaking, you're just going to have it uh, up all the way. This is your furnace, obviously. This is the thermostat. It's very simple. It's analog. You generally keep the fan part on auto. You can, uh, once to the right is heat. Um, it's too warm to run it today. Next to the left is fan, which is the air conditioner running without the compressor. Then if you go to cool, you get full air conditioning. Okay. I'm just going to shut it off right now. Always remember, if it's, I mean, it's, it's self-evident, but Remember, you can slide the uh, the thermostat back and forth if it won't come on. Sometimes you, people will forget about that for some reason. Um, okay. Also down here, let me look at this stuff here for you. This is your carbon monoxide LP gas detector. It should always be green, like it is. If not, get it serviced. Okay. It has to be green. Um, this is your power converter. So this takes regular shore power, uh, campground power, which is 120. Uh, AC and uh, you have the circuit breakers for it right here just like you'd have at home and they're labeled right then the power is converted over to 12 volt DC on this side so you got 12 volt fuses here and they're all labeled okay and importantly this is a battery tender so if you're as long as you're plugged in it's going to be sensing how much energy your battery needs and keeping it charged up so when you're plugged in at the campground this will keep your battery charged 
and when you're pulling it down the road your tow vehicle's alternator will keep it charged okay uh, and there's also tinted plastic here if any of the fuses blow they'll uh, light up and you can see it glowing through there so you would know okay that's the power converter alrighty now the bathroom sink and shower work like any other sink and shower um, this trailer is in exceptionally good shape I, I know I said that already but I do this for a living and I see a lot of trailers um, this is a GFCI plug of course all the plugs in the trailer are wired through a GFCI so if you're using a, an appliance outside and it and it goes out pops you'd reset it in here because they're all wired through it even if even if it doesn't look like a GFCI it's wired through one okay so the toilet has a flush pedal right here the black tank is directly below you have to use chemical and water in it after you get to the campground you hook up your power and your water you come in here you put one dose of um, chemical in the bowl then you'll step on the pedal like that it will wash the chemical into the black tank directly below and stand on it long enough to put a gallon of water in the tank down there you can use more but you have to use at least a gallon so otherwise if you do it dry the smell will be terrible plus it can, be, can get clogged up so you always use chemical and water uh, in, in here before you start using it that's important obviously um, all your heat comes out of the floor vents okay the AC will come out of the ceiling vents you have a few of them around okay let's see what else we have here okay we'll go to the bedroom um, there's storage underneath the bed okay you have a uh, TV hookups here and a backing plate to put a bracket if you wanted to hang a TV in here you can do that uh, this is your exit window let me see if I can get this to come up here is it this way or the other way that way so basically you all you're gonna do to escape in an emergency is you push this all the way through go all the way through with it and then you're gonna grab a hold of this red tab and pull the screen out and then you can exit that way in an emergency okay like I said storage under the bed all the usual stuff you have uh, some charging ports there they're scattered around the trailer too so okay so let me look see if I forgot anything one thing you got to remember is to is is the man for a new trailer the manufacturer states you should inspect the roof every 90 days you want to go up there once or twice a summer uh, and look around to see if uh, there's any cracking or separation with the sealant which there's not right now um, but you keep an eye on it that way you'll stay ahead of things in case it needs to be resealed you also look at the roof the uh, attachments on the roof and the roofing material make sure they weren't damaged by low branches or by uh, road debris flipping up there or anything like that you just give it a good inspection uh, to keep ahead of any issues you have if you see an issue you take care of it immediately okay that's very important as a trailer owner um, over here we just have your your uh, TV hook up here this is where you would hook the cable for your TV this is green it's a signal booster for the digital antenna I could shut it off but you keep it on if you're using the antenna you keep that on like that or you won't get a good signal um, this will play uh, I think it has DVDs in it doesn't it I can't even tell you for sure yeah it has a slot I think it does uh, I think I would know that but this I'm not familiar with this radio so let me look here it's uh, I better I better say no because I don't see any eject anywhere anyway uh, what I do see is it has USB up behind here so you could stream off a USB drive right it has AM FM radio um, let me see what else we have here that's the on off I guess I should have looked at this first but I it takes an SD card also um, I just want to see what the what the different modes are auxiliary Bluetooth so it does have Bluetooth all also so you could stream wirelessly with your phone or tablet and it has like I said AM FM radio so it does a lot of things considering um, your camping so okay all right so I want to thank you for purchasing your trailer here at National RV Detroit remember what I said about inspecting the roof um, that's very important as a trailer owner also you're gonna to have to winterize it in the uh, 
in the fall. Right now it's dewinterized. All the antifreeze has been purged from the system and replaced with fresh water. Your water tank is in camping mode, meaning the bypass valves are in camping mode. And uh, the tank is filled with water, so it's all ready to go. You're already camping it, okay? Thank you.